Keep in mind, this is the 2019-2020 exercise sit-up bench from Aldi, so this year they might have a slightly different model. Hey everyone, it's me, Katie Beth again. And today, I will be reviewing the Aldi sit-up bench. The brand is actually Crane, but you'll know it when you go to Aldi and it's on the shelves. So I'm going to do this review in a few different parts today. First, I'm going to do the unboxing, and then afterwards, I will give you a rating. So I'm going to rate this bench on five different stars. The first star being price. The second one being compactness, foldability, or storageability. The third aspect being on whether or not it works. The fourth one being comfort. And the fifth star being just if I feel like it's better than other benches. All right, so here we go with the unboxing. And then afterwards, I'll give you a little demonstration of how it works. And then my final scoring at the end. So this is the bench in its native habitat at Aldi on the shelves before I grabbed it off. And then finally, when I took it home, and it did fit in my car, which was great. So this is what you have when you take everything out of the box. Not a lot of pieces, which was great because it was easier to put together. I did have an issue that a lot of the edges had these unfinished edges with sharp bits that you had to sand off. So I did spend extra time just sanding off these little sharp bits. Also, the other thing that made me so angry is it says it just placed the cap on the foot of this end. It would not place on. This is me actually trying to place it on. Didn't work. I thought, well, maybe it'll screw on. It did not screw on. I could not find any plausible way to get this foot to stay on. Eventually, I ended up getting a mallet and trying to hammer it on, and that also did not work. So I just ended up not using those feet pedals on that part. And now I'm showing you the accessibility of this. It was pretty easy to just lift up. And then you can unfold it, which makes storage really nice. I just have it in our little hallway workout equipment area. So you just pull it out, stabilize it. Now the issue I have are these knees. They're too short. They should stick out farther, but they're super short. And as you can see, it's, it, it lays like right in the middle of my knee pit, which makes it very uncomfortable. So to fix that, I kind of pull the padding out so that the padding kind of offers more support to the outside, but hardly any because there's nothing inside making it sturdy. And now I'm just showing you my sit-ups on this sit-up bench. And it does actually work. It does engage my core a lot. but I pretty constantly have to be fixing the knee section because it's always coming loose since it's not the way it's supposed to be used, but the way it's supposed to be used is too uncomfortable on my knees. So I'm just constantly having to mess with those. And I do push them back in so I don't lose them when I store it. And the fabric on it isn't that great for wiping away. So if you're sweating a lot, not the best fabric, but also not the worst. And this is how it folds and unfolds, pretty easy. And I do like about this bench that it is so light that you can just pick it up and carry it to store it wherever you're going to store it. So the box is very misleading that it has a full-grown man on this because this bench does not work for a full-grown man. We have full-grown men in this house and I've asked them to try it out and it just doesn't work for them. For instance, this knee bar is barely big enough for my knees. They're not big enough for a man's knees. And that's that I'm even pulling the padding out farther to make the bar larger than longer than it is. And then these bars down here are supposed to be push-up bars, but how is that a push-up bar at all? Because if you're face down, your face is just gonna go right into the floor if you try to do push-ups on that. And then if you try to lean your body out this way and use those bars as push-up bars, then your face just goes right into the bench. For example, let me demonstrate my face going into this bench as I try to do push-ups. It just doesn't work. That part of the design just really doesn't make sense at all. Here we go. It shows it on the back. But honestly, if he comes down, his face is going to smack right into this bench. Keep in mind, this is the 2019-2020 
exercise sit-up bench from Aldi. So this year they might have a slightly different model, but I wanted to be able to give you my year's opinion of what this bench is like. So stats-wise, this does say it has a max weight of 330 pounds. I'm okay on that, but sometimes I do feel a little wobbly, especially with these tiny little knee joints they have. And it does say that people over 6'2 shouldn't use it, but that cuts out a lot of people. So these are the functions it says it has. Sit-up bench, a curl bench to like curl up on, a sit here and pull on these bands, which I don't like the bands and I actually have them hidden under my bed and haven't used them. So I can't really do a great review on that, but this is the purpose that I bought it for, just a straight up sit-up bench. And then the push-ups, but the push-ups you just smack your face into the bench, like it doesn't allow you to do a full all the way down push-up. And then just using the weight bands. Can't really see them in the picture, but those are bands. So now to the review rating that I have promised. So first star, price rating. How is the price on this? It was about $40. It starts in November, December at a higher price, I believe. But by the time I bought it in late December, it was only in $39.99-ish. And for that price, it was cheaper than any of the cheap ones I could find on Amazon or any other place. So price-wise, I will give it that star. However, after using it for a year and everything I know, I probably still wouldn't have paid $40. Just there's a lot of other things I could have used that $40 on. So star number two, storage ability. I'm gonna give it that star. It is foldable. It took me about six months to figure out how to fold it because once I built it, it just was in that position and the directions didn't really say anything about how to fold it down. I think you were just supposed to know how to do it. I only found out that it was truly foldable by accident because I was moving it and then it just collapsed and folded down onto the floor. But storageability wise, if I had known how foldable it was, I would have been able to store it under my bed and it would have been pretty perfect. Now star number three, does it work? Um, yes and no. For me, it works. It's irritating on my knees because the bar isn't wide enough for my knees. And it's not like that would have been a big bad thing about space because the bars on the push-ups on the side stick out farther than that. So they could have just had the knee bars stick out a little farther and I would have loved that. But it does work. After a while, if I don't do any ab things and I do like 30 sit-ups on that, the next two days my abs are just super sore. You just feel them building up in there. However, I'm five foot two. I'm nowhere near six foot two, so it works okay for me. But for dudes anywhere close to six foot, it's not a workable option. So I'm going to give the does it work star a half a star because it does work for me, but it doesn't really work for people larger than five two. And for the comfort rating, I'm not gonna give it this star. It doesn't give me any problems on the cushion part rolling up on my back, but that knee thing is really irritating. And it kind of digs into your knees. And because I had to pull the padding out to support the sides of my knees, so it's not just the bar digging into the center of my knee pit, the more sit-ups you do, the more the padding wiggles out and then it just falls off, the bar's digging into your knee, and you have to go pick up the padding wherever it fell or rolled to. So I can't really give it the star for comfort. And star number five, the excellent ability star. I'm really not gonna give it that star either because while it does work and the price was good, there are better benches out there that if you spend 20 more dollars on, you probably could have got a better bench for. So I'm not gonna give it that excellent ability star because I'm not actually happy I bought it. Like it was only $40, but I could have gotten in and out like eight times for that which I guess would defeat the whole purpose of buying exercise equipment. I am still going to occasionally use it when I don't want to go to the gym, but total I'm going to give this sit-up bench about a two and a half out of five star rating. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I hope this review was helpful. If you're thinking about buying any sit-up exercise equipment at Aldi this year, again, thanks for watching and have a great day out there.